بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما لها تعود أركان الوجود ما لها تعود أركان الوجود ما لها تعود أركان الوجود ما لها تعود وتبوس أركان الوجود أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير أستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا يهديه الله فلا مضل له من يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد أن حبيبنا محمد عليه وسلم عبده رسوله for those who don't know who I am, let me introduce myself. Uh, and ismi, my name is Ziad Karam. That I Y A D Karam. That's my name, aka Beholder Guard. Here in Athens. Here, I'm talking to you from Athens. I am a mixture of Arab. Uh, I have Arabic blood in my, but I also come from. I have. Anyway, I have long, a long, long history from other countries. That's not the issue. What I would like to talk about today, and sorry I've been uh, gone for all this time, because I thought that I was going to retire the channel once and for all, but then I decided, no, Dawah should be continued no matter what. Until the day that you die, you should try to make Dawah. But, in this case, I would like to talk about... The most obvious problem that is going around in the world, and I will begin by saying that Philistine is the world, and the world is Philistine. In the past, I tried to upload a beautiful video which I found on Facebook. I downloaded it, I tried to upload it to my channel, and um, I received a warning. On why? Because it shows how proud the Palestinians are. And it didn't show anything that has to do with, you know, terrorism or stuff like that. This is the hypocrisy of the West. And if I get a strike on this channel, this for this video, well, I'm absolutely right. Here is a question that comes to my mind. Since the Yahudis, the Zionist Yahudis, excuse me, not the Yahudis in general, since the Zionists love the Americans so much, and the Americans love the Zionists so much, and yeah, that was Facebook going off, just ignore that. Why don't you Zionists ask your butt buddies, the Americans, why don't you ask them for a piece of land? You can go, um in a nice way, you know, um, take a hike from the Middle East so that you won't have your enemies, the Egyptians, Lebanese, Saudis, what else? Omanis, Syrians, you name it, all around you. Because everyone hates you, okay? You know that. You guys know that. Why don't you ask your friends in the United States to give you a nice piece of land and you could all just go and a hike go point number one point number two a little bit of a, a little bit of a sense of humor now the next point if you know arabic you're gonna get it right away your current prime minister today is the 20th of july 2024 saturday the 20th of july 2024 it's about to turn 1900 hours aka 7 p.m one minute as you can see your current Prime Minister is called Netanyahu. Now, let's break down that name into two parts. I'll begin with the end. Yahu, from the word Yahudi, and Netin. Arabic word Netin. So basically, Yahudi Netin. But my Arab friends have died laughing by now. They have died <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Uh, for 
any Israeli who's going to watch this video and try to flag it or hate speech or whatever, it's not hate speech, it's called freedom of speech, let me show you something. Because you guys have been brainwashed by your government into believing that God promised you this land and you are entitled to kill the people who actually gave you a home after World War II where you guys entered Philistine. And some of you were barefoot, others were naked, and you had nothing. Let me show you something. Let me show you a couple of photos. This is the document and key of Masjid al-Aqsa. Jerusalem, Palestine. I don't know if you guys can see the entire thing. Yeah, looks good. This is a Palestinian coin from 1927. These are good Jews who follow Judaism. And as you can see, there's the, there's their website, nkusa.org. They say Zionism isn't the problem, not Fatah, not Hamas. This is a dua I found online and I kept it. This is a new word, um, a billboard in Josie SA. Israel, verb, taking something that isn't yours and then shamelessly pretending it belongs to you while playing the victim. And as you can see, there is a map of Palestine and how it how it was in the beginning and how it is today. Now, this is the original map which was issued by National Geographic in 1947, one year before the Nakba. There was no such thing called Israel. Map courtesy of National Geographic magazine 1947. And with the stamp and everything, you guys can check up this stuff online. Anyway, this is the video which got flagged. I'm not going to play it, but it's a beautiful video. And this is a map from the beginning of 1947. Let me zoom in a little bit. The white is Jewish settlements and the green is Palestinian lands after 1947. When the war ended, they uh, the Palestinians welcomed you Zionists into their homes because they said, you know what, you are our cousins. Uh, we feel bad about what happened to you. Come, come. We will we will give you a home. What what was the thank you that you gave to the Palestinians in 1947? The United Nations plan took place, and the country was divided. It was not enough for the Zionists. They, as the, the years progressed, 1949, 1967, they oppressed the Palestinians more and more and more. And today, well, not today, the last time of 2005, now it's even worse. Uh, almost the entire country is under Israeli control. Palestinians were there for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. There were Jewish Palestinians. Christian Palestinian, there were Muslim caste, but they were all Palestinians. So, um, it's quite obvious if you're an Israeli and you have made it this far in this video, congratulations. And I do not mean that in an ironic way. Truly, congratulations. Maybe videos like this one will wake you up and say, Maybe my government is doing something wrong. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe my government do something wrong. Maybe the later generations will start to do something about it. Because Wallahi Azim, I know some people, if they had political power, this would have never happened to Palestine. Never. And if the, if the Palestinians and the world itself had a way to turn back time, Many people would have stopped this from happening. And Allah Irhamu Yasser Arafat would have been one of them. Anyway, uh, you guys get the idea. I, I am proud of this flag, even though I'm not from there. I love Palestine with all my heart. I am against oppression. If this had been the other way around, aka the Israelis 
supposedly the Israelis were there for thousands of years and then the Palestinians were kicked out uh, after World War II and they did the same thing, I would have made the exact same video but reversed. Because I am for justice and I am against injustice. And what is happening in Palestine with the killing of those innocent women, children, elderly, sick, etc., etc., non-combatants, you Israelis should be ashamed of yourself. وَلَعْنَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ Translation. And the curse of Allah, the Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala, glorified be He, be on the disbelievers. You Zionists, you are the disbelievers. Having said that, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Beholder God, and I'm signing out. دمروا الكفر المسمى بالصليب يا بسود الدين